Ule Baba Kiche, Che Mahamaya Kiche. So we just finished the beautiful story of Sirsana and heard about him going back to Ayodhya and setting up the beautiful temple to the Divine Mother. Now we'll go on to chapter 26. So King Janamajaya, who was asking Veda Vyasa all these questions, he said, O best of the Brahmins, what are men to do in the time of the Navratras? especially in the Navratri ceremony during the autumnal season. How is the ceremony to be performed? Kindly relate all this with the prescribed rules and regulations. O intelligent one, what are the fruits therein of the Navratri ceremonies and what are the rules to be observed? Kindly describe all this to me. Veda Vyasa replied, O king, hear about the vow of the auspicious Navratris this has to be performed with loving devotion in the vernal season, but it is a special season in autumn. The two seasons, autumn and spring, are famous as the teeth of Yama, the god of death. And these are the two seasons very hard for the person to cross over. Therefore, every God-fearing human should everywhere perform this vow very carefully. O king, the people are very much afflicted with various terrible diseases in these two seasons, autumn and spring, and many lose their lives during these portions of the year. Therefore, the wise should unquestionably worship with great devotion the Chandika Devi in these auspicious months of spring and fall. On the day previous to the commencement of the vow of Navratri, one should collect all the materials that will be required for the worship. One should invite then those Brahmins that observe fully the customs and usages, who are self-restrained and versed in the Vedas and the traditions, especially those who are skilled in the ceremony of worshiping the Devi. Next, in the Pratipatita, the first day of the bright half, one should take one's morning ablush bath in the river or in a lake, tank, or well, or in one's own residence, and should perform their everyday spiritual practices. Afterwards, that person should appoint the Brahmins and give them water for washing their feet and offering them other offerings and give them as his means permit, clothing and ornaments. If he happens to be rich, he should show no miserliness here in making these gifts. O king, the Chandipat, the reading of the book called Chandi, and the Bhagavati Padpat, the reading of some portions of the book named the Bhagavati, are done on this occasion for the satisfaction of the goddess. O king, when the ceremony has been thus commenced, one should place on the Vedi a raised platform or altar, the throne fitted with double silken cloths, and on that throne should be placed the image of the Devi, the Devi, the Eternal Mother. It has must have four arms or 18 arms or eight arms fully provided with all the weapons, ornaments, with garlands of pearls and jewels, decorated with various ornaments and gems and precious stones wearing excellent heavenly clothing. All the parts of the image being artistically finished and endowed with all the auspicious signs mounted on a lion on holding conch shell, wheel, club, and lotus in her hand. One should place on one side all the materials of worship in their due places and then have the music and other sounding drums played for the good fortune and prosperity of the family. On the previous night before the ceremonies, one should take only one meal of simple rice and ghee, and on the next day one should make a sankalpa, a vow of the purpose of performing this Navratri rite, and then begin the worship. One should pray before the goddess thus, O oh, Mother, Mother of the world, I will perform this excellent Navratri vow. Be pleased to help me in every respect. 
One is to observe as far as possible all the rules enjoined in this vow and then utter the mantras and do the worship according to prescribed rules. First of all, one should worship duly the goddess Jagadatri, presenting her chandan, which is sandalwood paste, a, a guru, a fragrant wood the, from the aloe wood, camphor, beautifully scented flowers, and good veal leaves, dupe, dupe incense, and also incense and a burning lamp. Daily thrice, one should worship the Devi with various lovely articles and finally make a great festivity with dancing, singing, and music. Okay, one should perform worship of the Kumaris and also have a homa each day with the various mantras to be said, as well as offering worship to the Kumaris, young girls, and puja for the satisfaction of the Devi as, her, as their means allow. Never one should show miserliness in this. She who is appearing under the three forms as differentiated by the three gunas, sattvic, rajas, and tamas, and who is appearing in multiple forms owing to the differentiation of the three gunas, again, into various minor differences, I am worshipping her, the Trimurti Devi. She who being worshipped always fares us with auspicious things, I am worshipping her with devotion the Kalyani, the awarder of all desires. I am worshiping the Rohini Devi with a heart full of devotion who is germinating all the karmas in seed forms that have accumulated owing to past deeds. She who is at the end of the kalpa gathers all into her form of Kali, all this universe moving and unmoving. I worship that Kalika Devi with devotion. She who is furious and wrathful and hence is called Chandika and who killed the two demons, Chanda and Munda, I bow down to her humbly with devotion to that Chandika Devi who destroys the terrible sins. I worship that Sambhavi Devi, the giver of all pleasures and happiness, whose form is the Veda Brahma and whose origin is without any cause and who is so recited in the Vedas, she who saves us from danger, her devotees, and who is always delivers from various difficulties and doubts, whom all the devas are incapable to know, I worship with great devotion that Durga Devi, the destroyer of all calamities. I, with my mind devoted, offer my salutations to that Sambhardi Devi who procures all auspiciousness to her devotees and removes all inauspicious incidents. Thus, in the mantras above described, people should always worship the Kumaris, giving them clothing, ornaments, garlands, scents, and various other articles. Here ends the 26th chapter on the narration of what is to be done in the Navratri, in the Mahapurana, and the Srimad Devi Bhagavatam of 18,000 verses by Maharishi Veda Vyasa. Jai Mahamaya Ki Jai.